guys, it is Natalie and I'm ready for another round of Skittle TBR to pick my books for January. Now, if you are new to this game, I pick two Skittles. The first Skittle will move this first arrow to whatever color Skittle I pick, and then I will pick another Skittle and this arrow will move down to that color. This will lead me to a prompt. Now, if I pick two Skittles that are the same color, it's going to lead me to this colorful diagonal line you see right there, and that means I have to pick a book off one of my colored shelves. I have a red color shelf, I have a blue color shelf, etc etc so I'm ready to play let's get to it and of course before we play I cannot take credit for this game this game was created by Danny from current chapter I will link her in the cards you definitely have to check her out if you're not watching her why aren't you watching her she's great you need to check her out and I decided that this time, before I start playing the game, I would actually show you the books that I would be picking out of because most of the books in this bookshelf behind you are books that I have not read. So let me show you what's actually on these shelves and you'll see the books that I'll be choosing from. All right, guys, so this is my red shelf. So I'm going to kind of quickly scan it for you. I have not read most of these books, maybe one or two, but for the most part, these are unread books, for the most part. Then we have my purple shelf, my favorite shelf. It took me a long time to get enough books to have a purple shelf. And these are the books some I have read, but I believe most I have not. This is my zebra shelf. As you can see, I've made it white and black. I've read a few, but once again, most of these not read yet. And here's my little pink shelf that I've started. It's not big enough for a long shelf, but I've started it and I've read maybe half of these books, but the other half I have not. This is my blue shelf. Once again, I don't think I've read any book on this shelf. This might actually be all unread books. I think it is. This is what I call my yellow, gold, orange row. Not enough books to have a whole yellow row or a gold row or an orange row, so they all kind of are going together right now. And this is kind of my green row. Green is kind of hard to do because there's so many different shades. But if I get to the green shelf, this is where I will be picking a book from. You can see it kind of turns turquoise towards the end there. Now this is my top shelf. It was originally meant to be for all my unread books, and these are all unread books, but unfortunately I have so many unread books that not all of them fit on this shelf. And then it goes over to this shelf as well. All of these are unread books. Kind of crazy how many there are. And for this last shelf, starting with The Name of the Wind and moving this away, uh, I have not read any of those books. Night Tiger and American Dirt I have, but and Guess List, but the rest I have not. I have some little bitty books there too. Now that you have seen the shelves, we can start playing the game. Um, as you know, or might not know, I pick eight prompts so that I have eight books and I try to read about four or five of them. This month I actually did really well. At the end of this, I will show you the books from last time and what I completed. I am very proud of myself, but let's move on to the game. All right, so for my first Skittle, I get a blue. And my second Skittle, I get a yellow. So blue, yellow leads me to what prompt? Ooh, YA. I have plenty of YA books to choose from for sure. And if you're wondering, why does the uh, TBR board look like it's moved? It has, it just fell on me and I had to put it back together, but let's get back to the game. So for YA, I am choosing Ash Lords. And I really wanted to be able to choose this book this time because it came from Colton and Alyssa as my Christmas gift this year. So from what I understand, there are a group of young people who are called Ash Lords who are able to create these Phoenix horses using alchemy. And they use these phoenix horses to race, and it's got a lot of magic in it. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just knew that it sounded good. And I am very excited to see these phoenix horses that are going to be made. I guess they're not real. They're magical horses they're going to make and then race them. So that sounds really cool. So Ash Lords is the first book that we've picked. All right, now I need to replace this prompt. I'm going to replace it with character name in title. Character name in the title. All right, so let's pick our second book. My first Skittle this time is a purple, which I'm gonna eat that. I have the worst arrows, they keep falling to the ground, but we've got our purple, let's see what the other Skittle will give us. 
Ooh, interesting. Green. All right, so purple and green, what does that lead us to? Ooh, a six-word title. A title with at least six words, which I must have because I would not have created this prompt unless I knew I had some six-word titles in my books. I'm going to go with The Once and Future Witches by Alex Harrow. And this came in one of my book boxes, which is why it has those beautiful red sprayed edges. All right, so, so, so according to the synopsis, in 1893, uh, magic has been extinct in some way. And till finally there are some sisters that get together during the women's suffrage movement. And I guess they're trying to help the women's suffrage movement and at the same time bring back magic in some way. That's all I know. I don't want to read too much into it because I want to be surprised. But uh, I'm very excited about this book and it looks really cool. Sounds really cool. I love it when they mix historical fiction with some magic. And let's replace that prompt with a flower or tree on the cover. I am always trying to come up with new prompts. I know Danny from Current Chapter always kind of struggles with new prompts. If you guys have any ideas for good new prompts, please let me know. But let's pick our third book. Oh, I'm going to pick, ooh, another purple. Leave that where it is. Huh, and a blue. Move that to blue. What prompt do I have? Ooh, I like this prompt. I really like this prompt. It just has, a, has to be a book that has magic. Ooh, this is gonna be really hard because I have so many that have magic in them that I want to read. All right, I'm going to go with Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I have not read any Shadowhunter books, I believe in like two years. I read The Mortal Instruments and then I read The Clockwork whatever trilogy was that. And then I haven't read anything since. I know this is the first book in one of her new trilogies. It seems that the main character is named Cordelia and she's a shadow hunter. And supposedly there's these demons that they've never had to deal with before that they can walk during the day and they're terrorizing London. Once again, this is a book that is set in the past. It is set in another country and it has magic in it. So I'm sure I'm going to love it. I don't think I've read a shadow hunter book that I have not liked. All right, so far so good, pretty good choices. All right, let's replace the prompt. Oh, I think I remember this one before. Star in the title, the word star in the title because I have so many books that have the word star in the title. All right, so this will be book number four. All right, the first Skittle I pick is a blue and the second Skittle I'm picking is orange. This easel is giving me so many issues that I must warn you, if you decide to buy an easel for whatever reason on Amazon, spend more than $20. All right, so the prompt I'm getting is, what is it? Ooh, got the right one? Not recommended, and that basically means a book that I'm not hearing about all the time on BookTube. Let's see what we can find. All right, I am going to pick the book the Future of Another Timeline with Time Travel. I don't think I've heard this mentioned on BookTube, or if it has, I don't remember. So it sounds like this happens in two timelines. One is in 1992 where a girl named Beth, who was 17, she's at a concert, she goes to go sit in her friend's car and finds her friend's abusive boyfriend dead in the car. And then the other timeline is in 2022 where time travel is now possible. And the main character, I think, in this uh, timeline is Tess, and she's trying to go back in time and fix mistakes and make, I guess, the world better in some way through time travel. I don't know. I'm excited. It sounds really good. I hope it's as good as it sounds. All right, and now we have another prompt to replace. All right, let's see. What is the next prompt? The next prompt that I need to replace it with is shiny cover. We will put that right here, and we'll pick our next book. This will be the fifth book. All right, I have an orange. And I have orange. Oh, double colors, which means I'm gonna be pulling off of my orange bookshelf. No, 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 I'm not pulling off my orange bookshelf. Orange and orange means I get to pull off my black and white bookshelf. Okay, let's see what we can find. I'm going to go with Lisa Jewell's book, The Family Upstairs. 
So it sounds like the main character in this is named Libby and she doesn't really know where she comes from and then she gets a letter that she's inherited this old house, I believe in London. But what she doesn't know is there's lots of other people who have been waiting for the day for her to inherit this house. So I don't know what that means, but there was some kind of crime that happened, I believed, in this house. And somehow it's all going to come together and maybe that's how she's going to figure out who she really is. I've read several of Lisa Jewell's books. Not all of them have been hits, but a lot of them have. So high hopes here. And we must replace... Oh no, we don't have to replace a prompt. That's the nice thing. If we uh, have the diagonal color picked, we don't have to replace it because it just stays the where it is. So now we just need to pick our, let's pick our six books. First color is blue. Next color is purple. All right, blue and purple leads me to, and I've done this prompt before, star in title. And this time I'm going to go with Star Daughter. I also got this in a book box, which is why it has the beautiful sprayed edges in gold, which is one of my favorite colors after purple. And the title is literally what the book is about. This does take place on Earth, so it is an urban fantasy or what you call magical realism. And this young lady is, her mother is a star and she lives on Earth with her father who, she, and somehow she's in hiding, but now she's being called by her mother who is a star. Now how that works, I have no idea, but I have heard good things about this and I've heard not so good things about this, but uh, I want to give it a shot myself. So Star Daughter, hopefully will be one of the books I read. And once again, let's replace the prompt. We're going to replace it with a little book. Oh my gosh, guys, I have so many little books. I actually really hope I pick this one. This will be book number seven. I've got green and I've got yellow. Yellow. Green and yellow takes me to new TBR. Oh, I have plenty of new books. In fact, I have a book haul coming up that'll be the biggest book haul I've ever done. Let's find a book. And I think we will go with Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. I believe this is her latest book. It actually says Sky Hunter right there too. Very cool. All right, this is a complicated plot. I'm just going to read you this first paragraph. It says, The Carinza Federation has conquered a dozen countries, leaving Mara as one of the last free nations in the world. Refu refugees flee to its borders to escape a fate worse than death, transformation into mutant war beasts. Oh my gosh, who wants to be, tr oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that is worse than death. I would not want to be transformed into a mutant war beast. Oh my gosh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but good news, good news. The legendary strikers, Mara's elite fighting force, are trained to stop them. But as the number of these creatures grows and Karenza closes in, I don't know who Karenza is, defeat seems inevitable. But they will not refuse hope. I'm not going to read any more, but I haven't read a Marie Lou novel in a while, and I believe I've enjoyed most of them, if not all of them. So hopefully this might be something I'll read and let you know about. All right, we're going to replace the prompt. We're going to replace it with Second Chance, a book I've DNF'd, but maybe want to go back to. And now we'll pick the final book. And after I pick the final book, I will show you the books from last time that I finished and what I thought of them. All right, the first color is orange. And the second color is yellow. All right, orange and yellow leads me to... Ooh, Sci-fi. I've been telling you guys I've been wanting to read more sci-fi. Let's see what we can find. All right, for sci-fi, I think I'm going to go with Crown Chasers. This is going to be a book that takes place in space where we have reached a point where we can travel in space. That's pretty sci-fi. So our main character is Alyssa. Her mother, like, uh, sacrificed everything to bring peace to the galaxy, okay? And uh, her uncle has been ruling the galaxy as an emperor, okay? I guess Alyssa is next in line, but she doesn't want to be the emperor or empress. She would rather have more fun flying around the universe in a spaceship. Ooh, and there's going to be some kind of chase that she is going to get be involved in. Oh, that sounds exciting. A bunch of people flying around in spaceships uh, in a race trying to, looks like they're trying to all find something, almost like a scavenger hunt. So I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I believe this came in one of my book boxes and it sounds amazing. It sounds very sci-fi-ish. So hopefully it's good. All right, so we've picked eight books. Let's quickly review the books that we have picked. Crown Chasers. Sky Hunter, Star Daughter, The Family Upstairs, The Future of Another Timeline, Ash Lords, The Once and Future Witches, and Chain of Gold. So like I said, I pick eight books. I try to read around four or five. I pick eight so I have a little bit of variety if maybe one book doesn't work out. But let me 
show you what I did last month. Very impressed with myself. All right, these are the books that were picked last month. So last month, uh, I picked The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which I actually am reading right now. I didn't read it earlier because it turned out it's going to be one of my celebrity book club picks, so I will definitely be finishing this. Uh, I did finish This Mortal Coil, and I'm telling you, when you guys find out what this red powder is, it's a little crazy. But this ended up being like a dystopian book about people are at a, at a place where they can, they have all these like gadgets in their body that can like rearrange their DNA and make them look however they want. But then some plague was uh, started because of all this DNA manipulation. So you have most people who live underground and you have a few people that live above ground who are just trying to survive and that's our main character. Her dad is one of the people who like is really big into inventing ways to uh, change your DNA around. Um, she's also very good at it but she's kind of uh, being chased and it was really good. I gave it uh, three and a half stars. It was, it was pretty fast paced. The only thing I didn't like about it was it was a little bit too smart for me at times. Sometimes I didn't understand what they were actually talking about with these, you know, advanced scientific things they were doing. But if you're very sciencey, then it would probably be a much higher rating for you. I also finished Zero Day. This is about the girl who disappears and then eight years later she returns and when she returns her father has become President of the United States and it seems like maybe she's up to something. What happened during those eight years? A lot of things just don't add up. So I read this, I enjoyed it, and this would also be a three and a half stars. I also finished Kingdom of the Wicked. I talked about this. My last video I did was a YA, all YA wrap up where I talked about 30 YA books that I've read since the summer. I'll put it in the cards. You definitely need to check it out. And I talked about this book a little bit. This ended up being a four star book for me. I really enjoyed it. It was about a pair of twins who are also witches and one dies and the other one has to dabble into some dark magic. Um, but I highly recommend this one. I also finished Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. I loved hearing about this family. This is the family from Practical Magic and from the Rules of Magic, but we go back to the 1600s. We're dealing with the Salem Witch Trials, and oh, this book was so great. I'm gonna say four and a half stars. And I read most of Instant Karma. I did not DNF it because it was bad. I DNF'd it because it was sort of juvenile and not in a bad way, but Marissa Meyer wrote uh, Renegades and um, what was the other ones? the Lunar Chronicles, and those seem to definitely to be young adult books, where this book kind of read more like a middle school book. Um, it just was, this is a good book and it's well written, but it's not the same kind of level as her other books. Her other books were definitely young adult. This one was a little bit more, like I would, I would give this to an 11 year old to read. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, not at all, but I'm definitely not 11 years old. So that's why for me, I was just like, this is a little childish, I'm just not really getting into it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I have a very chaotic uh, upload schedule for sure. And that's why you also need to hit that notification bell. My next video will most likely be a huge book haul, probably the biggest one I've ever done. And I will see you guys then. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.